Bledsoe. We're going to keep us on 11 breaking weather alert probably through the weekend due to the high fire danger situation we have going on out there. But aside from the fire danger, the temperatures are definitely going to be beautiful tomorrow across southern Colorado, mostly 60s and 70s, very similar to what we have going on out there uh, for today. And yes, the mild slash warm weather does contribute to the fire danger, making it a little bit higher, but it's really the wind and that dry dormant vacation, uh, vegetation that's out there uh, that's going to cause some issues. And speaking of the wind forecast, let's look at that for tomorrow. The least windy part of the day is going to be the early morning hours. You see wind gusts generally on the order of uh, less than 20 miles per hour, but that's not going to last long. You can see it by midday. We're looking at wind gusts in the 20s and 30s up and down I-25 mountain communities will even be windier earlier in the day. They're also going to have some snow up top, so if you have mountain travel plan, you're going to have a whole other ball game to deal with up there. The farther east you go, the wind comes up a little bit later in the day, but it does come up with gusts in the 30s to around 40 on the southeast plains. We could be hitting gusts of 50 around Walsenburg, close to that near Alamosa, and in the 30s and 40s up here. So again, you get the idea, and I don't mean to beat a dead horse here, but uh, the fire danger situation is extreme on a day like tomorrow, pretty much all across eastern Colorado. And when you live uh, close to an area like we we do in the state of Texas where they just had that huge disaster down there. I think everybody should be very vigilant about something like that so it doesn't happen up here this time of year. We're obviously no stranger to this, but unfortunately we're going to have to deal with it for a while. In terms of any type of precipitation this weekend, well, as I said, mountains, plenty of snow out there for tomorrow and tomorrow night. But by the time we head toward early Sunday morning, a piece of that energy is going to make its way over the hills. Remember those snow squalls we had a few days ago here in Colorado Springs? I wouldn't be surprised to see some of those develop with this setup between Denver and Colorado Springs early on Sunday morning, and some of those will likely linger during the first half of the day on Sunday until temperatures come up and things kind of get mitigated and we don't have to worry about it too much. The farther south and east you go is just about the wind and the mild temperatures, and then everybody kind of warms up a little bit a little bit later on in the afternoon. But the thing to know about on Sunday is that northern areas a lot less fire danger and farther south you go, especially south of Highway 50. That's where we're going to have to be concerned. So tomorrow extreme fire danger for everybody. Extreme fire danger on Sunday for areas south of Highway 50. Monday, it's still going to be high, but the wind gusts are going to be a whole lot less than what they're going to be over the next couple of days. So please just be very, very careful. 60s tomorrow, 50 on Sunday and 51 on Monday. Most of next week is fairly quiet until late next week when we see a little storm system uh, take aim at us where it'll cool us off and possibly bring us in a few snow showers uh, along about Friday. We'll have to keep an eye on that and maybe a change or two to the forecast as we go forward. Same trend there for Canyon City and Pueblo. No real moisture for you guys in the forecast, just the temperatures bouncing around with the wind. Woodland Park, snow showers on Sunday and then possibly 